When Jamie Roberts signed for Racing Metro last year, little did he know that he would shortly be joined by three of his international teammates. With their future in France currently the subject of much speculation, we met up with the Welsh exiles. I grew up on a farm in West Wales, so living in a massive city like Paris is pretty cool. And um, yeah, I'm loving it, you know, so it's, uh, it's all new and it's exciting stuff. No, it's very different to uh, Perpignan, which is a lot more laid back and very chilled out here, obviously the city life, but it's, uh, no, it's good, it's, it's enjoyable, and it obviously helps having boys here, you know. It's good to have fellow Welsh here, obviously I came with Dan, uh, we moved here at the same time, and it was only the two of us, and then Mike joined halfway through the season. I spoke to both of them, and they always, they, they raved about the, the facilities here, and uh, how great it was really, I've, I've loved it since, since I've been here, and um, you know, I think we're improving all the time, it's an exciting place to be in. Really. We have a bit of a, a WhatsApp group um, going now, Rass in Welsh, so uh, no, nah, it's good. Season one. Season one. Sure. So I make. Yeah. It's, uh... <laughs> Sexy Hibbert. <laughs> Sexy Richard Hibbert. Go. And Rassing have helped the Welshmen to overcome their language problems. I mean, the lessons are we have at lunchtime. And sometimes that can be after training. Tuesdays we have uh, you know, an hour, hour lesson every week, and this year's been a, a lot better than uh, last year. But we try and have a bit of banter in French class. You know, the lessons certainly d do help. Some are better than others. I think Jamie's struggling a bit, but um, you know he's coming on slowly. You know he's, uh, to be fair, he's an intelligent boy, and uh, it's an exciting challenge as well to try and learn that new language and. Challenge yourself in different ways. You've come a long way in three years. You've come a long way, mate. Bonjour, mec. <laughs> Ça va? Ça va bien. Et toi? Ouais, pas mal, pas mal. Ah, il fait beau aujourd'hui. Ouais, pas mal. C'est pas comme Pépillon, mais c'est mieux que Pégal. C'est ça? Fair enough. Ouais. Yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. Up top. <laughs> now we're fluent. <laughs> Nous avons gagné le dernier match. Uh, grâce à moi. You've been in Porto Quoi? And there are other issues besides the language. It's a very physical league, and I think um, it's very much uh, winning the battle of the game line. And if you do that, it tends to be a lot easier. But oh, there's some amazing players throughout the league, and uh, you know every game you play is obviously very difficult. Playing away is very difficult as well. And the crowds are superb in France. And winning away is tough. It's uh, a lot of that is down to the emotion. You know, you play at home; it's a massive, massive thing here, and. Uh, you lose at home, it's a disaster. Every team you go up against, especially top four units, just don't realise how many sort of world-class players there are over here. There's some big, big men floating around. Some games can be, you know, out and out bruises, and it's such an attritional league. You, you go to different games, and when it's, it's just chucking about, and everyone's offloading, so you, you don't really know from one week to the next. Wales have failed to beat any of the big three Southern Hemisphere sides since 2008. It looked as if that wretched run might come to an end against the Springboks earlier this year. A late penalty try denying them victory, but preserving morale. Back in the summer, the tour to Africa was a disappointing end, but I think. Um... I think we've made massive improvements. The way we played in our second test was, I thought, it was outstanding, really, in, in many facets of the game, and it's just unfortunate the way the result won. You know, it's that barrier of beating a you know a Southern Hemisphere team that you know we so des desperately want, and you know for Wales going forward, the Autumn Internationals is massive. And then obviously leading into the, the the Six Nations, if you have a good Six Nations, you know it f you know fills you with confidence. It is a massive year coming up. Those experiences which we've endured over the last three, four, five seasons are going to pay dividends come the World Cup. Everyone wants to peak for that. We did really well four years ago. But we want to go on one further and hopefully reach the final and, um, yeah, and uh, who knows.